Hello and welcome to MLB The Show 21 for your Minnesota Twins franchise. How you doing, everybody? Eric M. and Twins 20 here. Season 1, Episode 3. We are ready to start the regular season for the 2021 season. And uh, we're going to get going. Um, beforehand, I set my trade block for, the t for players I am going to have available for trades. And I'll show you. I'm the only team right now that's done it, so I'll show you who I got on the trade block. Byron Buxton, Maeda, Puig, Robertson, Arias, Stajak, Jake Cave, Miguel Sano, Kian Broxton, Ref Snyder, Matt Leaders, Caleb Thibar, Carlick, uh, Kyle Garlic, Hansel Robles, Randy Dobnek, Corey Guerin, Glenn Sparkman, JT Riddle, Eduardo Nunez, and S. Uh, Williams Astadio. I didn't realize when I signed Eduardo he was a D potential. So, oops, well, that's my bad. So, um, yeah, so that's the trade the, uh, block for us right now. Um, so we're going to start the season taking on the Milwaukee Brewers. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do something different with this franchise that I haven't done in years past. Um, I'd like to showcase at least one, one game per series in episode. So we're going to definitely do the first one here. And then I might, the next episode, I might do a Detroit one, or I might skip through these and then get to the home opener with Seattle. But we're going to do, we're going to try and do the kind of slow progress, slow things down so I can showcase the franchise more. Um, something I am going to bring back that I did in the last few series is we're going to showcase. Wow, they don't get going in Wichita till May. Wow. Um, I'm going to showcase minor leagues a lot better than I did I have before. So we're going to showcase the the Red Wing or excuse me, Red Wings, the Saints, and the Wind Surge a lot more as well. So it looks like I got till, let's see, April, wait a minute. Okay, so the Saints will start playing April 6th. So I got to get AAA ready by April 6th. And I don't have to get, I don't have to get the wind surge ready until May. So that's good. So that'll give me some extra time to get their lineups and team ready. So that'll be good. So uh, we're going to get things going here against the Brew Crew. And I figured out, I was playing around when I was playing in the last, uh, my first game of the uh, spring training, I was having trouble with the guest pitch. You know, you can guess the pitches and where it's going to be inside or outside. Couldn't figure it out, so I go. I finally Googled it, and I, I remembered finally, with help, where to look for. So it's like, oh yeah, duh. So got that figured out. Got that turned on because I like having that. So we're at American Family Field. It's not Miller Miller Park anymore. Hmm. Okay. And here's a list of all the teams. As you can see, the new, the newer ones in there, Montreal. I got the Twins, Montreal. It's the, um, I don't know why it's got it listed for Tropicana. It's not Tropicana. I picked um, Cros uh, Crosley for them. And then I got Portland, which it still shows Oakland. I don't know why it's doing that. I changed them. So... Don't know why they did that. Cleveland's still the same, so we're not gonna worry about that. But we're gonna play. We're gonna play with the roof closed. And we got Jose Barrios on the mound. There is universal DH, so the DH is on. So that's good. We're not gonna worry about pitchers hitting. Brent Rooker is gonna play DH, and we're gonna get this game started and get this season going. Can't wait. And hopefully, you know, we'll make some make some headway, and we'll be a good team. Unlike the real twins, who are a complete cluster F, and they lost again tonight. It is um, Tuesday, June 29th, 2021, and they lost again to the White Sox. Under a closed roof here in Milwaukee, we're almost 
ready for baseball from American Family Field. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the Minnesota Twins and the Milwaukee Brewers. Brandon Woodruff gets the Brewers brought their classic look back in front of the hometown crowd. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options? I did look into um, trade options, though, by the way, for Buxton. And uh, there are some players out there I'm very interested in possibly acquiring to trade him to. So there's a possibility. But we're going to see how things go for now with Buxton. See if he can get things going. Uh, that's not a good start to your season there, Buck. A lot of young guys in that talent in that talented lineup. Matt, you take a look at this lineup. I find myself thinking back to my playing days when I knew I had the ace on the mound. It had to be wind day, and when you get in the car to drive to the yard, you tell yourself, even though you felt bad about it, hey, just Trevor. two or three. All the pressures Oof. on the big boy to have to execute, and he usually does. Look for this lineup to try and execute and score, manufacture one or two runs early in this one. Swing and a line. Ripped it. Almost knocked that umpire's head off. Ball, strike two. He won the 2019 Silver Slugger Award for shortstops. Not bad. Skied into straightaway right. Got a piece of it, but it's going to be caught. He gets Ooh. There, and that's the Gave that one a ride, though. Next to dig in, Matt Chapman. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Infield in the overshift here now. The pitch. Oof. Missed that one. First round pick in the 2014 draft. And he falls behind 0 and 2. So this guy is not throwing stri uh, he's not throwing Oh, well, he threw a fastball there. I was about to say he's not throwing him, but flew one right by me. Down go the twins in order. Now it's the Alright, here's Barrios. Whoa. What's up with the camera angle here? We gotta fix that. I don't like that. Camera angle. Pitcher. Oh no, 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 no. Let's get out of here. Yeah, okay. I, I hit the wrong one here. Cameras. Pitching view. Yeah, I don't want broadcast. I want like... Don't want that one or that one? This one. Yes. First, right. No balls and a strike to count. A swing and a miss. Nice pitch. Start his afternoon. Got him. Brees. Well, there's the great equalizer, the changeup, El Combio. Listen, if you can keep that pitch in your back pocket and pull it out when you need it, like he did right there, usually hitters they don't stand a chance. Fouled off. Bases are empty. Oh, his slurve is his number one pitch now. Okay. Ooh. Barrios has made a name for himself as a starter that simply misses the barrel of the bat. He rarely allows a large number of hits, and he does a pretty good job at keeping the ball in All the right, ball. All right, now I'll throw the slurve on the outside contact. corner here. Looking for back-to-back -back K's to start the game. And that no misses two and two. I'm going to do it again. Swing Got, and him. Got him. With nice pitch. There, two gone. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. <laughs> when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good okay, position. Okay, fastball. Rios is being our ace so far, looking good. 96 an hour fastball on that one. That was a good pitch. We'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start. Is this Yelich up to bat? Yep. I'm going to go slurve, and I'm going to go outside. Got him. Nice pitching. Wow. 
still no score. That was a good at uh, good inning there for Jose Barrios. Second inning set to go, and that'll bring forth the rookie outfielder, Alex Kirilov. All right, Alex, here's your first shot. First pitch of the AB on its way. A ball and no strikes. Wow. Kirilov, 23 years old. This is his first year at the big league level. Got the benefit of the doubt on that one. Nice. One oh. And oh. fouled away. This guy is not throwing any fastballs. He's doing, well, two seamers. Popped him up. Ah. Adames has it, and there's one gone. So here's how the Brewers are positioned defensively. And let's take a look at Colton Wong, one of the more dynamic middle infielders in our sport. Ability to turn a double play, bazooka arm from a second baseman. So now to the plate, Brent Rooker. As with one away, he won't catch up with the fastball, and it's 0-1. Rooker got Still some experience in, hit in the ball game. last season. So he's and technically not a rook rookie. And of course, like every year with a new MLB game, I get have to get used to the controls again. Oh, he's got a high pitch here. I'm gonna let that go. He's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. That was swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up two slider. Now with the plate is Max Kepler. Come on, Maxi. Versus this arm, he's just one for six. Good late. I was late on that one. Swing and a miss. Hey, when you're featuring a mid '90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That oh, opens up man. more speed pitches later in the game. Behind 0-2 now. Ah, uh, he's gonna slider. No. Nope. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Max wearing a weird number, 36. I gotta change that. Somebody else is wearing his number. I think it's one of the. Uh, who? I don't remember who's wearing Max's 26. No oh, I think it's. No, it's not Trevor Story. I think it's. Um, I think it's Chapman that's wearing 26. Oh, what are you swinging at, dude? Oh, that was bad. <laughs> Sano's probably in just St. Paul watching this game like, geez, I can do that. And he's right. <laughs> he could. Another strikeout for for uh, Barrios, so he's got four now. Okay, here's Mejia. We got him from the Expos slash Rays. I'm really excited about having the Expos back. I'm really looking forward to seeing them. I feel bad for Montreal losing their team. I know. I remember when they were talking about contraction back in the late 90s, early 2000s. Expos were one team. They were talking about contracting, and the Twins were the other one too. And I remember the season when we came out. It was opening day, and it was Jock Jones, and he hit a home run to lead off the start of the season. And I was like, contract this. That was pretty cool. Come on, Trevor. Jesus, this guy is not that good. Come on. Larnick, a California-born ball player. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. Now a swing. Jesus. He's down on strikes, so it's two up, two down to begin the third. Well, he's really locked in at this point in the game on the bump. So far this inning, four pitches and two outs. Got the first guy on one pitch, then absolutely dominated. And of course, the ground out with a three-pitch strikeout. Throw in time and the side is retired. Well, at least he didn't strike out this time, I guess. That's a good thing. One, two, it's going to be a pitcher's duel because both pitchers are dealing. And now I watch. I, I, it's just as I said that. You watch. Brios is going to give up something. Hit by a pitch. Oh, double play. Got him on the inning. So the perfect game is over, but no hitter still on pack. That's good. Come on, Buxton. Buxton ready to lead off the 
There, yes. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah. He's going. Nice. Nice job. Nice hit. Buxton with a triple down the line. That probably should be an error, though. The guy tr struggled to get the ball. We'll see how they score it. Did they score an error? No, nope, they scored a triple. Cool. All right, let's see if Story can get him in here. That's, that probably will do it. Buxton's got the speed. Yeah, he's got it. Okay, good job. All right, Story, sack fly, we'll take it. Yeah, he's wearing 27, so that means Chapman's wearing 26. So I'm gonna have to change that because that just looks weird having Buck uh, Kepler wearing 20 or 35 or six or whatever. Man, he hit right into the sh I wouldn't say that's a shift. Come on, my Come on, Alex. Good job. Come on, Matt, Alex. Ah. Right there, and we're even at one. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like oh. to have that one back to take a swing at it. One, two. Threw a fastball. Strike Damn it! On a pitch in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. Well, we got a run. That's fine. Okay, we're still in the fourth. Do 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 do. Another strikeout. Now with the plate, Brent Rooker comes into this at oh, bat for one in the ball game. Go go go! Ah, oh, right at the guy. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now that. Okay, now Max, he's up. Max Kepler, he's over See if they can. First Throw me a fastball. Too soon. Come on, Max. Very career numbers on the back of his baseball card. Kepler has just over 100 career home runs to his credit. He had a bad strikeout last time. Don't do it again. Hit down the third baseline. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating feeling really good about his That's not going to get through. Back to back. And that's the second out. Hey, that's a great job right there. Knowing he had time to collect himself, I love the internal clock right there. Didn't rush it, took the extra step, gathered himself, and threw a bolt to first base. Here's I just saw his numbers, but he had his numbers for last year. He only hit 077. Ouch. That is really bad. <laughs> That's kind of embarrassing. And pops it. Onto the grass. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Well, we're still holding on a one-run lead. But for how long? Still dealing. And now in the box, Trevor Larnick struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Uh, tried to time out. Uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. I think he's going to throw a curve. A wind up and nope. the 0 pitch. Oh, a fastball. Jeez, what are you swinging at, dude? Oh. Today, he's gone on strikes. Six strikeouts this guy's got. Wow, this guy's mowing right through this lineup right now, but that's what happens when you don't get a chance to There's a base hit very often. That's one of the things that are helpful when you're pitching in interleague games. It's always a good advantage for the pitcher because the hitters don't get to see that guy very often. Nice hit. See, uh, how's... Okay, so... I might... Ah, 
Hey, here's where he steps out a second, collects his thoughts, and tries to get a pitch over the heart of the plate that he knows he can get down. This is foul right Come on, side. Buck. Oh, what are you swinging at? Jeez, that's my fault. God. I am so rusty. I shouldn't be because I just played MLB The Show 20 not too long ago, so I don't know why I'm so bad. Out in front of it, strike one. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. Nope, the ball takes a pitch high and away for ball one. And he fouls this one off. This is ridiculous. Everything in the zone I'm swinging at, and yet it's foul, 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 ground out, pop up, strike out. See? And he'll step on the bag himself. Ridiculous. At least we're still winning. That's a good thing. We're at 62 pitches. We're good. Keep it going. Come on. Yes. No hitter through six. And that'll bring in Matt Chapman. He'll start the seventh. And Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Oh, well, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. Hey, not too often we see this hitter come outside his game plan, outside the zone, but that pitch was just... Oh, so come on. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Swing and a liner. Ripped it. And a nice. And a perfect start to the seventh as this should be extra bases. And now it'll kick around in the corner. Stay at second. There you go. With nobody out. When you're Atta boy, Chapman. Run, you want to do everything you can to add to the lead and give your bullpen a little breathing room. It makes a big difference. So double here goes a long way towards Come on, Alex. a real possibility. That brings up Alex Kirillov. Ooh. I picked fastball, but they didn't. No hits to this Where is this? Inside. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. The 1-1. One, one. Fouled away. Try to get a two-seamer by me. Oof. God, my thumb is hurting. Ready to deliver the one and two. No. To two balls good and boy. Two good eye. I'm trying to work the counts more and get better. Gets more walks, but it's... Oh, jeez, Alex, right at the guy. Should have let it go. Probably would have been ball three. Striding in is Brent Rooker, who bounced out last time up. Should I think they're going to do a two-seamer inside? No. Not a fucking fastball. That's what you call a challenge fastball right there, boys. I don't know if he was necessarily trying to miss up in the zone like he did, but he got away with it right there. Uh, the slider. The O2 delivery. And Jesus. Are kidding me? Eight strikeouts thus far. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think and you it's see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? Of course. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play. To All right. Still got a one-run game here. Come on, Barrios. Oh, what's his, what's his pitch count? Here. And digging in is the outfield. 68. Wow. He's doing good. And of course, there's the uh, there's the uh, no hitter gone. Okay, we're in the eighth, so let's get the bullpen warmed up. They got a lefty and two righties. We got to do the three inning rule, three out rule. So Taylor is going to be the guy. Oh, God. 
Mr. Herky Jerky, dude? Come on. Now a swing and a ground ball for Wong at second. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up any number eight. We gotta get some more runs. Next, here is Trevor Larnett. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. That's lifted the other way out to left. Boy, we're just not getting anything. Will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. The batter number two. Stepping in next, Luis Arias in his career versus this pitcher. Not a big sample size, 0 for 1. Another hit, maybe? Yep. In there, base hit. Arias, all right. Success, and that means Byron Buxton bats next. I think that's his second hit of the game. Good job. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton. Strike one to start the at bat. He's working on a one for three thus far. We'll get the ninth. We'll get one more at bat. Middle of the order here, hopefully. If Buxton can reach, but geez, the hell was that? This guy's floating pitches. That's a four-seam fastball, and it floated. Should be tattooing this guy. Enemy strikeout. Are you fucking kidding? Wow. What are we sitting at for pitches here? 84? You know what? We'll let him go one more. I'm gonna... We got a lefty at bat. Okay. I'm going to bring in... I'm gonna bring in Taylor. Yep. Put him in. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter. All right. First pitch on its way. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. He's running. Pitch is high. The throw. Got him. Nice job. Nice job, Mahia. Trevor Richards enters from the pen to start the ninth okay. inning as he'll try to keep the score right Whole where pen. he is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Roberto Ozuna. Now, I'm not sure if they're going to let me start, bring him in since Rogers only faced one guy. But we'll see. We'll see. I think it's just per inning, so I think he's First good. To him. Hit Base hit. And that is in All right, Trevor. Cool. This looks like it could be a potential add-on inning okay. here in the ninth. Add-on gives some breathing room for their pitcher going into the bottom of the inning, d -Row. Yeah, you love when the offense stays aggressive. And you also like giving your relief pitcher a chance to breathe a little oh. bit, not having to come out there with just... Oh, he had a fastball right down Broadway. Just missed. Set to deliver the 0-1. <sighs> what are you swinging, you swinging at, dude? The beauty of that sequence right there, the fastball in, now to change up away, is where do you go as a hitter? Do you cover away? Do you cover the there you go. Away? There's a gapper. Meanwhile, this ball is in the right center. Story's going to score easy. Extra bases. And a big nice. insurance run comes around to score from first. Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. Has to feel good as a hitter right there to not only get a run. Come on, let's see if Alex can get one now. Come on, baby. Come on, Alex. Get your head. Oh, right at. Rounded. Yeah, he's going to have to find a way to slow the game down, shrink the stadium a little bit, and relax. Tough debut, but hopefully he's back in there tomorrow. He'll be fine. I'm not worried about Alex. The 0 and 1 delivery. The bouncer to the left side. Shaw has it. Throw gets it. Two down. Oh. 
All right, Maxie. Max Kepler, the next to grab a bat. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Trying to keep the game close. Oh. Here's the pitch. No balls in one strike. Chapman at second with two down. Oh, he let that float. Okay, so we got an extra run. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. Last chance coming up for the Brewers. It's now 2 0. All right. Roberto Ozuna takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Okay, Roberto. This is your. Set for the bottom of the Your ninth. Twins debut, Standing buddy, in, in the majors or the regular season, anyways. No balls and a strike to count. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Oh, got a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Ooh, ooh, a hundred mile an hour. Damn. Two quick strikes and now the 0-2. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have a battle here. That foul off right there, that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off-speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball. We got a slider or changeup. I got cutter. Jesus, this guy's pissing me off. Here comes another O2. There we go. Put him away with the changeup. This one swung on and missed for the first out. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You could just expand further. Yep, and that's further. what I had. <laughs> you literally can't touch it. He wouldn't touch the outside one. Like, okay, I'm going to go down low. Eventually got him to chase. Boy, these guys are bad. Now this guy's got some of the nastiest stuff in the game. It is absolutely got him. Nice pitch. Oh, yeah. Any type of attack when he's throwing this stuff. Lock him up with the off speed stuff on that. Asuna. Taylor goes down and they've got only one out left to work with. Nice pitch. In now is Lorenzo Kane. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. What? Are you kidding me? That was right in the zone, dude. He wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0 and 2. Didn't get it though, so now I shouldn't complain though, because we got a few calls in our favor too. He's done. Struck him out. Nice debut for Hosuna. Twins win game one. On the road, take the border battle number one. Certainly won't be his last. A two nothing finish today. The Rios had a great pitching performance. Almost had a, he had a no-hitter going into the seventh or eighth. So not bad. Woodruff was good, but we finally got to him. Just had to plunk away. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. So, Barrios is the player of the game. Seven two-thirds inning. Gave up two hits, six strikeouts, no walks, no runs. Not bad. Chapman went two for four, two doubles, an RBI. Trevor Story went one for three with an RBI and a run. Uh, Buxton one for four with a triple and a run. Arisa and Luis Arias went two for three, so not bad. Got to cut that. Definitely, we need to cut back on the strikeouts, though. But it is the first game, and it's also, like I said, I always, for some reason, I always struggle with new, new baseball games every year, which is weird because it's all the same. It's all the same controls, but it is what it is. It's all mental. Well, eventually, we'll get through it, and we'll be okay. So, Toronto has claimed 27-year-old Glenn Sparkman off waivers from us. That's fine. I didn't like him anyways. We're going to skip this one. Hey there, baseball fans. Justin Allegri. The season is still young. Let's so, the next game, the I will I'm going to play off camera. In the AL West. The White and I think in the next episode, we'll do the season, the, the opening the season. 
the home opener the against Astros Seattle. Grabbed the win over the Athletics, three nothing. And uh, the Mariners got 11 hits overall as they defeated the visiting Giants five to four. The Miami we'll Marlins go from there. totaled 11 hits. I'm going to make a couple changes to Expos, some player uniforms and get them all right, and Charlie we'll be good Blackman to go. Drove in three if you like Colorado this episode, the hit the like button. Leave a comment if you like. Subscribe to the, the channel. If you like to help out with future projects or upgrades to the channel, you can visit my Patreon, patreon.com slash mntwins28. You don't have to help, but any help is always greatly appreciated. Until next time, peace out and go Twins.